Hello, Ginger Bailey, B-A-Y-L-E-Y, -E Psychic Medium, right? Right. And also, we have my boy, Eric. But Ginger, you you, you were just yes. talking, you have a new service. I'm so excited to hear about it. Yeah, I do. Um, it's a it's a life um life coach, do life coaching. Mm -hmm. And um the the reason why I'm doing this is because in my regular sessions I do life coaching, you know, mm -hmm. um, and I connect to the other side and but I do have some customers that have asked, you know, can I just have a session without connecting to anybody on the other side and just get guidance for life? And so mm -hmm. I thought that, you know, it would, you know, be good to do it that way. Plus I had a client that also brought it up to me that she thought, you know, it was kind of her idea too oh. um, to do this. And um so that way I I still connect like with Eric and my guides. Right. right? Um, I just don't connect with loved ones and it's a less um less cost. It's okay. a lower lower price. So you still it, get so. Uh, guidance from the divine. Right, right. Not every life coach does that, you know, people. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so I added that and I'm still having myself. So they're still there. Okay. Bring so awesome. All right. We are going to, with Eric's help, bring in Maggie and Paul Murdoch, the ones that were murdered. Um, yeah, tragic, very tragic. Um, uh, so can we get them in? They're here. They're here. Yeah, and and they're, and both of them are are um, saying thank you. Oh, thank you for having them here. Well, you yeah. finally get to. Well, you've probably been channeled before, but hopefully this will give you a voice. Mm -hmm. So I've got some questions from the community, Maggie and Paul. I'm sorry you had to lose your life in such a tragic way. Have you both crossed over? Yes. Yes. We might have to. Uh, we might have to. We'll probably have to stop. And then restart for part okay. two. Lots of questions. Okay. All right. There are so many questions about that night at the kennels where you were murdered. Are you ready to share some of the details with us? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you confirm that you were both killed by Alex Murdoch? And if so, yeah. yeah. Was yeah. he the only killer or was there a second shooter? Only one. He's the only one. This, this is Maggie. Maggie. Yeah. When he pointed the gun at you, what were your thoughts? Run. I'm getting chills really bad right now. Um, run. Um, were you horrified? Were you surprised? Her son, her right? son, her son uh, Paul, was um, shot first. Mm. Um, and she just was in, like, shock. Like, uh, what just happened? What's going on? Um, and then she it was almost like a like a bad dream you know like it wasn't happening but it was happening nightmare I couldn't believe it yeah C couldn't believe that it was happening and was it happening um and then she ran started to run did you suspect it was about to happen no before it was a complete no no um um She's saying that um, she was just doing her normal daily stuff yeah. and um, she got a call that she needed to come home. And, uh, and then, and then Paul was saying the, the same thing. Like he was just going along his normal day. Um, Alex. Oh, okay. Yeah. That there's needed to be some stuff done. They had some things coming up, some kind of trip or something. And, um, and they were called home and they were just doing their normal stuff. Um, Looks like they're out with the dogs. They're with the dogs. Did he say anything to either of you before he pulled the trigger? Like, I'm sorry, or I'm sorry. I'm oh sorry. God. Yeah. Mm. What is it? The thing is better to sin and ask for mm. forgiveness later. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. Were the murders a sole contract for either of you guys? Or was it totally Alex's uh, free will? A sole contract. The sole contract. What was the purpose of it? What was to be learned? So so there's a few things um, she's saying. Um, one is to, to know that no matter what you see with your eyes, there's always something else going on. 
-hmm. there's always more to it. There's always more to a story. There's um, just because things might look uh, rosy on the outside don't always mean they're rosy on the inside. Um, no matter what, with everybody. Yeah. He's saying with everybody. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> not that everybody's bad, but everybody, you know, there there are people just don't show their true hundred percent selves all the time. Right. Um, and the other thing is. Um, for people that are struggling, he was very drug induced. She's saying, "Oh, was like he, his was mind? His possibly? mind was not. Yeah, his mind was not right. Now he wasn't. He wasn't like drunk or anything. But she's saying like his mind was not functioning right." Um, she's saying this from the other side. She didn't know right. why why she was here. She's saying this from oh, from the, yeah. See. She's saying that that his mind was not functioning well. He was like a it was a, like a drug induced stupor kind of thing. Like um, his logic wasn't there. He did not have a logical mind. Um, and also being that it was contract, you know that that nothing would have stopped it anyway. It was supposed to happen, yeah. right? And then the other thing is, is that for people that are dealing with drug addiction, any kind of addiction, you know, that, that is alcohol, drug, anything, um, this is also supposed to show them to kind of wake up and get help. It's kind of a odd way to show it, but there's more to it. It's not just those couple of things yeah. she's saying. There's more to it than that. Um, a lot of it was an internal contract too for things that his soul's going through for yeah. the afterwards you know what he's what he's dealing with um so after after they're gone since you know it goes on to the people that are left behind yeah. and what they're dealing with um and there's many lessons in that is what she's saying uh, yeah we can go on for hours probably yeah 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 now paul did you sense your dad's personality was changed that that night when you were, guys were at the kennel and were you uh, reaching out when you were recording your dogs. He's saying that he had no idea that, that it, everything just seemed normal. He was, he was recording the dogs. Um, not because he was suspicious of anything. He's saying, I asked him, were you suspicious? Did you suspect? Did you feel? He, no, no, wow. he, he wasn't. Mm -mm. No, nope. everything was just like a normal moments up until then. Okay. Did either of you say anything before the, he pulled the trigger? We know that, that Alex said something. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, not Paul. It was, it was too quick. Yeah. Um, right. um, but his wife was just, she was just like, because she was saying like, it was just like, so surreal. So bizarre. like, yeah, bizarre. That she wasn't understanding because it was so quick too yeah. and she was just like why yeah about, oh, why you know why oh. um and then he said i'm sorry and then yeah, well, the yeah she but she but th she took off she took off yeah 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 mm. he still got and it. you both intended a target the night you were murdered or was paul the main target and maggie collateral damage or vice versa for that matter Yeah, no, no, it, it was him. It was Alex. That's what they're asking, right? If somebody else did it. No, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, was the, the main one? target. Did, did Alex uh, mean to only kill Paul mm -hmm. and that Maggie was collateral damage or did he intend to kill both of you? Both, both. It was, it was planned. It was planned. Yeah. Yeah. God yeah. bless you both. I was wondering, Maggie, if you had any feelings leading up to the murder that your husband was planning something. I didn't even want to cry. Um, oh. No, no, she had no idea. No idea. Um, he, he was just, he was just his normal, his normal self. He, he wasn't acting any different at all. There was no, she just was, she keeps talking about how she was just doing her daily stuff, just doing her daily like routine. Um, and th there was some kind of, I don't know if it was a celebration or trip or something that was coming up. She's talking about that they, she was preparing for or doing something for her celebration or something. Um, but she, she just didn't think anything of it when he said, come home, we got to do this, this, and this, you know, she didn't think there was just no, it just was so like one minute this way, she says, and the next minute this. Yeah. 
Wow. Say, uh, so how was your relationship the last several months with your husband? So she's saying that they had a good relationship. Um, and uh, like any marriage, you have your ups and downs. Um, yeah. She did start to get suspicious about uh, financial things. And yeah. then she didn't know about the, the medications, the pills. Yeah. Right. Um, and so it was a little rocky after she started dealing with that. And her son, uh, Paul, saying he knew too. Yeah. Um, and sometimes she'd actually have him like um, watch out for his dad when she wasn't around, like keep mm -hmm. an eye on him kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Um, but of course, at Paul saying that he, he dealt with his own actual like issues, but didn't see him. It was weird. It was like, even though he had like his own addictions and his own, uh, mm -hmm. behaviors that he did, you know, as, as a young boy, yeah. you know, um, that he still, it didn't look the same as what his dad was going through. Like he, he's seen his dad as worse. Oh. Like his mind didn't separate, you know, like didn't put it together like I have a problem too but he was watching right. it for his dad but not himself you know okay and it, yeah yeah and so but anyway it was just all normal stuff going on and except for the suspicion of finances is what she's talking about and, and the pills were you planning to uh separate get a separation or were you in the middle of a separation oh no okay <clears throat> Maggie what were your last thoughts as your husband gunned you you down that was why right yes why why and fear just a lot of fear, fear. of uh, oh. yeah fear and shock of what's going on it was just so quick she said it was quick even though she was running like she took off it was just take off bam you know real quick yeah right like right that, you know start, start to run yeah yeah so you do you did you know paul was killed before you were and that's true right you already mm -hmm. said that yes. um yes did you know what Alex was into, what he was capable of? I'm not sure what that meant. I mean, did you know he was capable well, of it, I guess? She did not know. No, no. She did not even think he he was capable of this. Um, um, so what she is saying though is that she knew he was capable not of killing them, absolutely not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Loved ones, family. But she knew that his family and him had like power over yeah. certain things um, that they would take care of situations per se, she oh, said, yeah. mm. you know, things like that, but not in a way of hurting people or hurt, like hurting right. physically, hurting somebody. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did either of you, Paul, Maggie, have any fear of Alex before the incident? No, no, mm -mm. no, no. And he was a very good, um, she says liar. Mm. <laughs> I, and I, the reason I'm laughing is the way she said it. She said it with a smile, like an ornery smile. Like he was oh. a good liar, you mm. know, um, which she didn't know until after she crossed all the different things that were going on in the wow. lies and, and not just him, but and the fam they, there's a lot of good people in this family. I want to say that ginger right away. There's good people right. in this family. I can feel the energy of this family. Yeah. But there were a few that were very power hungry and used their power mm. to get away with things, to keep consequences from happening. And that was one of the problems um, with um, her son, she says, is that they didn't have consequences. Things were fixed for them. Things were um, taken care of per se yeah. like that uh, that's, both, that's her word. both are just yeah. both. Both. both both was there some sort of trigger like an argument or were you just caught completely mm -hmm. was it no no argument oh, okay. nope so yeah. they were they, she keeps showing me something going on with the dogs like i guess they have now i i ginger i don't watch the news because first of all i'm too mm -hmm. sensitive second yeah. of all things like this that we do on Charlene and Eric, I, I, um, it would mess everything up. I can't have too much. Stuff oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, but she's showing me, um, the dogs and something going on with the dogs. And, um, there's a bunch of dogs like in these cages and, um, anyway. Ugh. yeah, they're, they're, uh, Oh, Paul said they're hunting, hunting right. dogs. Okay. So, um 
they were just, she's showing me that there was just a commotion with the dogs. That's all there was. It was like some kind of commotion with the dogs. I, I don't know what this is. It's just, she's showing me they were dealing with the dogs and their mind was just on the dogs. Okay. Yeah. yeah just a nightly routine. They go out, they feed dogs, they play with dogs. Yeah. Well, was, uh, do you think the dogs felt that something was up? I mean, do you know from your perspective now, at least? Yeah, they did. They they sense they sense something. They they are very connected, very connected oh. uh, spiritually, um, animals. And um, they did sense um, there was a shift. So yeah. here's the thing: everything going on, you know. Okay, because us as humans, we can feel differences too, right? In the yeah. shift of things, there was a shift right before. I mean, seconds before all this started, just a shift. It was like this is one person, and now it's another person. Mm. And, um, and again, she's saying that the way his mind was, and this is an excuse for him, she said, but his mind just was not thinking right. He was desperate. There was a desperation. And this is interesting. She says that the way his, his mind logically uh, dealt with this was they were better off for all the things that were going to come out about him and things oh, that were wow. happening with him. And that was the way he, his mind thought about it. But then afterwards, it was like a whole bunch of panic cover-up kind of stuff. Like, yeah. okay, it, it was like robotic. He wasn't even thinking. It was just panic mode, robotic. What do I have to do to get to the next step is how his mind was working wow. afterwards. Why do you think you were both killed? Why did it kill you? So she didn't know before, um, but yeah, but now she sees there were a few reasons um, to take the, um, it, it, she's making me feel like it's to uh, put put eyes on something else is the way she's showing it. Like take the eyes off him and, and put them on something else. Um, give him okay. some kind of like. Um, Breathing room or? A pity. No, pity. From, oh, okay. He, he uh like you like you do something like a distraction a just dist right. thank, thank you eric like a distraction it's a distraction not and she said that what what's um what was wrong with that is that it just created more focus on him but the way again his mind didn't think logically about that it was almost like you you know do this situation and there was two reasons in his mind get their eyes on something else going on, um, get um, sympathy um, yeah. and, you know, to keep them off of what they were starting to find out about him. Oh yeah. I guess he was doing, I don't know, he was doing something he wasn't supposed to. And um, also to um, make them not have to be a part of it. That That's just the okay. crazy thing for us to think of as humans, you know, but she's saying like for them, you know, that's the way his mind thought was, they'll be better off Ugh, um, what do you hope you happens know? to him in the end oh well from a spiritual point of view she's saying that she knows what happens and she sees the whole story of yeah. why and and how and all all of that um she um she says though that like one of his purposes and I don't know Lisa if you have this question coming up but she's bringing it up right now the purposes um during his journey here was to overcome addiction was to overcome his um he needed to find humility um and he needed to like learn from things and he wasn't learning from situations that would happen he would just like cover them up it's almost like sweeping things under the rug sweeping yeah. things how she's showing me and he was supposed to come through that while he was here but she's saying that even though it's a contract for them you know that um they okay i was asking her would they still pass he wouldn't have both overcame it 100 percent, but he was supposed to work on it and it still would have happened is what she's saying because i asked her you know okay. would this have still happened and she says yes it would have happened um but he was supposed to work on some of those things while he was here. Okay. Uh, but what do you hope happens to him justice wise? Consequences. He needs consequences. She said, um, and she, she's saying that um, he still isn't getting it. Like, she yeah. can see how his mind works he's still not quite getting it he's still in that uh i didn't do it it's not me 
you know, um, and he's all, he almost like convinces himself. Okay. In a way. Um, yeah. Do you forgive him? Yes. Both yeah, she you? said yes before you finished that sentence. She said yes. Yes. And, and Paul, you too? Yes. Okay. Yes. Did either of you, did you feel any pain? Either of you? No. <sighs> no. 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 Um, actually, Paul is saying that um, I guess he was shot at uh, more than once. Um, oh, okay. And so was she. Um, but he said after he was shot, he uh, immediately left his immediately body. left his body. The the first shot, yeah, left his body, yeah, and um, her as well, her as well, yeah. Either of you have Alex's pills, like what? keep it from him, maybe. No, no, but. Paul is saying that um, he would watch and keep an eye out and look and make sure there weren't any, you know, but mm -hmm. um, from this side, from this side though, right. um, they see now that there, there still were, they still, he had, he oh, had yeah. for the place, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess what you're also maybe saying is, this is the next question, is his addiction truly as bad as he explains it? Some of it he's using for an excuse. Okay. Um, it, it was bad. He did have a bad addiction to, to pills, um, and other things. Yeah. Yeah, not, yeah. There were other substances, not just pills. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. And, um, but he's saying that there were some things that, that he would, um, exaggerate about, you know, to try to Right. Not take again responsibility for his actions. So not taking responsibility for his actions and consequences are two things that he grew up not having to face or deal with. Yeah. Um, and uh, Paul says that him and his brother were on that same path. Wow. When things get fixed Ooh. for you, he says, when things okay. get fixed for you all the time and you don't have to face yeah. Yeah. the music, <laughs> the way he put it, face the music. Yeah. 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 So did you guys stick around for a while after you left your body and observe things or did you just go straight to the afterlife? No, no, they stayed around. They stayed around. Um, they were, they were around past the, uh, around the funeral. They were here during the funeral and everything. Okay. What yeah, did the you service. observe uh, at the scene? Um, um, a lot of commotion um, with dogs and uh, cars and uh, law enforcement stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it was it was just uh, chaos. It, yeah, it was just chaos. She's just showing me like um, I was looking at how like they were just surrounding her. They were also she says that they were just trying to decide like um, there were some officers that were you know uh paid to like shut their mouth about stuff not not so much this murder but other things so when they were there there was a lot of confusion with some of them like you know what do we tape off what do we do and so there were a couple other officers that came in that were like no we need to do this correctly we need to make sure this is done just in case you know it it wow. was Alex so there was a little bit of confusion with that she says with some that were um what do you call it um that honored you know the the right. law firm and the and the people you know the their family you know uh but there's also there was also those who were like you know um looking out for Maggie and Paul you know and, yeah. and justice for them so yeah okay uh we're gonna do one more question then we'll start part two okay do you know where the guns are? Destroyed is how I heard it. Okay. Is how, how she said it. Destroyed. Um, she shows me like they were put somewhere and then later dealt with. Oh, okay. she puts it. All right. Well, thank you, Ginger. Uh, Ginger Bailey, psychicmedium.com. And you guys... Check out our new service, Life Coach. And thank you, Eric. Thank you, Maggie and Paul. If you'll stick around, we will start recording um, part two, which we will post later. So you guys be sure okay. you hit the notification bell so you don't miss it.